This is the story of the HMS Birkenhead, the Birkenhead drill, and the origins of women and children first. This memorial at Birkenhead Woodside is to commemorate the story of the HMS Birkenhead. On the 7th of January 1852, the HMS Birkenhead, under the command of Captain Robert Salmon, began its fateful journey to South Africa. The ship, built at Camel Erds, was launched in 1845 and it was carrying troops. In total, there were 638 people on board, including 476 British soldiers and 20 women and children. In the early hours of the morning of the 26th of February, the ship hit rocks just off Deja Point, South Africa. The ship's iron hull was ripped open and more than 100 soldiers were drowned as they lay sleeping. The rest of the troops rushed on deck and were ordered to man the pumps and free the lifeboats. The women and children were placed onto these lifeboats. The soldier's commanding officer drew his sword and ordered his men to stand firm. To rush the lifeboats might mean the women and children aboard the boats would swamp and perish. He had no need to use the sword. Each soldier remained at their rank. The soldiers did not budge, even as the ship split in two and the main mash crashed onto the deck. Of the 638 on board, 445 men died, but every woman and children were saved. The sinking of the ship was the first occasion in which women and children were taken to safety first, a procedure which became known as the Birkenhead Drill. The HMS Birkenhead was the world's most famous ship disaster until the Titanic in 1912. The Titanic famously used the Birkenhead Drill, women and children first, to disembark passengers into the lifeboats. The pebbles around this memorial plaque are from the beach where the survivors came ashore on the Western Cape and representing a joining of the area and South Africa with Merseyside and Great Britain in remembrance of this tragedy.